Hi. Well, I hope all of you are having a great summer. Well, it's the season for tomatoes. So Claire and I thought we'd do a tomato recipe. To be more accurate, a Polish stuffed tomato recipe. So here it is. Doesn't this look yummy? Now, this particular recipe, you could use it as appetizer or part of the main entree. If you're having a buffet style type of a dinner, well, they work wonderful. So let's not waste any more time and let us show you how to do these delicious, yummy, Polish stuffed tomatoes. For the ingredients, we will need four large or five medium sized tomatoes and some greens for garnish. One cup, 117 grams of cooked white rice. One cup, 118 grams of chopped ham. Now I happen to be using the country ham. Now you could substitute Polish sausage. If you like to make this dish a vegetarian dish, substitute one cup of chopped mushrooms. Two thirds cup 115 grams of finely chopped onions, one cup, 115 grams of freshly grated cheddar cheese, two tablespoons of oil, and here I'm using sapphire oil, two tablespoons, 30 grams of unsalted butter, and some extra for buttering the dish, two tablespoons of plain breadcrumbs and of course, salt and pepper for seasoning. At this time, preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The first step is to prepare the tomatoes. We're going to cut each of the tomatoes lengthwise. And then we're going to disregard this. Then what we want to do is we want to remove the insides. What I like to do is I like to cut this part off, cut off like this. Then using a spoon, you just go spoon the inside like this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now what we're going to do is I'm putting the inside into a sieve that's in a bowl because then we're going to press the insides and we're going to be using the juice only. So here we go. Let's cut the, this part off. And I just kind of like to cut the inside a little and this will be easier for us to remove the insides. Just like that. And scoop all the juice out into the seed. Well, I'm going to go ahead and finish doing the rest of the tomatoes. So now we are ready to fry the onions and the ham. So here I have a medium sized pan of a medium heat. I've heated up the oil and now we're going to add the onions and we're going to cook the onions till they are translucent. Then we're going to add the ham. Well, it's been about five minutes and the onions are translucent and now we're going to add ham. Now remember I mentioned that you could substitute ham with Polish sausage or if you want to do this dish, a vegetarian chopped mushrooms. And now we're going to let this saute for a couple more minutes. Well, it only took a couple minutes to saute uh, the ham. And now it's ready for our next step. So now we are ready to start mixing our ingredients, our fillings for the stuffed tomatoes. So here I have rice. Now this happened to be 
unsalted rice. I'm going to add the ham and the onion mixture. This is a pretty heavy pan here that I love to use to saute things. Okay, now we're going to add freshly ground pepper. Makes a big difference. And now we're going to add some salt. And then you want to mix all the ingredients together. Perfect. And now for the topping of our stuffed tomatoes. Here we have the freshly grated cheddar cheese. To that we're going to add the breadcrumbs and a very soft butter. And we're just going to mix this up. You want to make sure that you mix it well so the butter is blended well with this. So the butter has to be very soft. So keep mixing till all the ingredients are well mixed. So now we are ready to put everything together. So now we are ready to fill the tomatoes. So here I have this nice baking dish. What I love about this dish is I could bake things in it and then put it on a table. So what I have done using a pastry brush, I have buttered the dish. Now we are going to go and place a tomatoes right in the dish. And we want to arrange it so all of them fit right there. Oh, great. Now, using a medium sized ice cream scoop, or you could use a tablespoon, you're going to take the rice and a ham an onion filling and we're going to place the scoop right inside just like that. So we're going to go ahead and fill all of these just like that there. And we can use up all of this filling. You know, this smells delicious. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press these down. There. And then we can go ahead and use up the rest of these. Right there. Like I mentioned earlier, these make great appetizers or part of an entree. And if you're having that great even brunch, this is a great dish. Okay, so now we are ready for the topping. Now, the topping is the cheddar cheese. So now here I have the tiny ice cream scoop. Now this one I'm just going to scoop up into my hand and you want to place it on top of each of the
tomatoes, but you want to make it crumbly so when it bakes, it'll look so much nicer. There, so you want to bring it up and you kind of break it up. And here again, we're going to use up all of these. Well, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of it. And now, for the final step before we bake this dish, the tomato juice, the one that I mentioned to you earlier, that we are going to use in this recipe. So we're going to take some of this juice and we're just going to go and pour a little over the dish right here, just a little, and then the rest of it, we're going to pour for the bottom, to the bottom, just like that. Then, we're going to bake this dish in a preheated oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. And all it took 20 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And all we need to do now is decorate the stuffed tomatoes with some greens and we are ready to serve.